Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Glenn Page from Cult Creations and the amazing one six scale diorama, the alleyway kind of inspired by like a Gotham scene or just a generic kind of alleyway so that I can use different characters in it, but it is here and Glenn's done an amazing job. You're really not getting a sense of how big this is on the, the screen here. I'm looking at it on the phone and it's just, it's much bigger than that. <laughs> it's, it's really, really awesome. Um, so I sent um, Glenn a, um, like a little diagram, would you call it? Like a little sketch of yeah, yeah. whatever it was. I forget the measurements, but it's exactly what I sent him. And he was keeping me updated the whole time as far as uh, every little detail, the bricks, the doorway, the sliding. What would you call this? Like when the gangster kind of films where... Yeah, uh, it's like got the secret nut. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forget the technical name. I had it in my head a minute ago. But anyway, fire comes out of that. So we'll have like Joker standing in the uh, the alleyway here, warming his hands in the cold winter nights. We've got this amazing uh, box that Glenn literally did at the last minute. You'd never know from looking at it. That looks amazing. I literally just said to uh, to you, just like, is there some kind of box I can put maybe Catwoman sitting on for pictures and stuff? And that's what he did. And like, how long did it take you to do that? Uh, about twenty minutes, to be honest. Yeah. It's, uh, once you get the idea in your head, and yeah. You know, you've got, got it planned out in your head, it's all right. Look at the uh, the water coming out of the drain there. That is amazing. Uh, it's not just like simple bricks. There's like cracks in the walls that you can see, the water from the rain kind of dripping down the walls, the no parking sign. Uh, the window here has um, like that kind of, what would you call it, translucent um, plastic yeah, or something. Yeah, safety glasses, isn't it? Yeah, so I can put like um, a light behind that and it will glow through and look like the interior is lit up. Uh, all the trash bags of rubbish, the uh, the trash bin over there. Um, Glenn was awesome and actually decided to make these removable if you wanted to. I mean, you could glue them in place if you wanted them to be a permanent thing, but if you want to change it up and not have the, um, what do you call them, pillars? Or... Yeah, I just knew, I just wanted to like bring it a bit 3D, that's all. Yeah. You know, because it looked quite flat, just the wall, so it added them in, so it kind of brought it out a bit. One six, uh, one six scale newspaper. Yeah, awesome. New York Times. And this, uh, what would you call that, like... Um... Well, look, the idea that I had was like, kind of, you know, like um, a cellar, like a beard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. yep. That's what I was thinking. That's the one. Yeah. And he's even got the right sort of texture on the top of it as well. Amazing. And the bars to uh, stop break-ins. Stop people getting out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop people getting out. <laughs> and like you said, it's cool because this could be the back of a club or um, like a prison kind of place. or. Yeah, because it's a good idea that you had that, so I have it kind of like a bit generic. Because mm. if we kind of like went down the the way of putting Batman signs and everything everywhere, it's kind of like DC that is. But this mm. could be like a nightclub, could be mm. uh, a mental at home, it could be, you know, anything really. Let's put someone standing. We go for the Dark Knight. Mr. Dark Knight. See what he looks like. You were christened <laughs> the diorama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. So you can see how big it is. Look at that. That's amazing. The amount of pictures and photo sessions and pose sessions I'm going to be able to do and uh, fight videos will have like Batman and Joker beating each other up in the alleyway and Michael Myers and Jason maybe having a fight or something like that. Absolutely amazing. For I mean, you guys um, watching this, if you're interested, Glenn can do dioramas for NECA figures, Hot Toys figures. Uh, they can be this big or probably even bigger if you want. <laughs> or um, Whatever really, whatever yeah. you come up with I'll, uh, I'll do my best to try and make uh, make what you want yeah man and maybe some uh, that would fit inside like detolf shelves and like each one of your shelves on a detolf could have something like this like a little world for the figure to live yeah, in yeah it can, it can be made in any measurement really because yeah. like you know can do for detolves can do for shelves like deans or whatever wherever amazing. you want to, want to put it absolutely amazing my, literally like I said to Glenn I've got so many ideas running through my head right now as far as <laughs> photo yeah, sessions like yeah <laughs> god amazing so i was just saying earlier that uh, i think uh, robocop versus terminator oh yeah gonna... yeah yeah robocop's gonna look amazing in here but i really can't stress guys how big it is it's really really awesomely big <laughs> like there's gonna be none of that frustrating stuff where you're trying to take pictures but the edge of the diorama keeps showing like where it ends i think with something like this i'm gonna be able to do just so much stuff and even the the ground has a kind of wet feel to it or a wet sort of look because obviously it's been raining so you'll be able to get nice close-ups of uh you know just, just adds a little bit of uh, realism i think yeah, you know, yeah. what you mentioned from you know the water coming from the drains yeah and, oh man yeah. it's crazy good 
in a wet night. Look at that. Oh god, I did look at the moss coming out of the bloody I didn't even see that. Oh right. Bloody hell. Yeah, I kinda of like stuck the moss to the bottom kinda of like layer, because like, yeah. no like in real life, you know, yeah, you get moss yeah, up here, yeah. it's more where the water's been and stuff. Yeah. Oh so good. So yeah, I am a very, very happy camper right now. This is <laughs> literally a dream come true since I started collecting this stuff eleven years ago. I've been dreaming of something like this and Glenn you made it happen man, thank you so much. I do like it is. Absolutely awesome. Well, I don't know what else to say guys other than just completely like jizzing myself everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very happy. So I will bring you uh, some more videos on this uh, soon and I'll leave a link to get in touch with Glenn either on, uh, you can go to his website, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, they're all going to be underneath this video and you can click on them and speak to him directly and uh, you can pretty much do anything you want, jungles, cities, uh, interiors of mental asylums or whatever you want man I mean the Joker figure or Batman figures uh, they just come to life when you put them in something like this as you'll soon see on the channel soon once I get my uh, photo sessions happening but I just can't decide who's gonna be first I think I said in the previous <laughs> video it's gonna be the Armory Dark Knight Oh yeah, you knew so me. I think I'll do that but then it's just gonna be a complete you know you're gonna be sick of it basically and then uh, when I get the Flash figure, because he's been a little bit delayed, because customs are hanging on to the Hot Toys Flash, but once I get him, I'm going to be able to do some cool running uh, poses, like running through the scene kind of thing. So just going to be using it for a lot of stuff. But thanks so much, Glenn. No worries. Thank you, man. And uh, yeah, don't forget, guys, do get in touch with him if you're interested, and you should be, because it's awesome. See you later. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm here with the diorama. Uh, Glenn isn't here anymore but he was an absolute legend man a really really cool dude it was very cool to meet him absolute pleasure to know the guy man he's so you know his passion for what he does here is obviously you know it's pretty evident from what you're looking at here this is incredible i mean look at that this uh this actually he's got light up feature inside it and it's blinking away uh, the trash bags <laughs> awesome man now look at the water coming out of the drain all the moss on the rock as well on the bricks See the moss? Check that out. Got some moss action up in here. Look at that. Look at the, the weathering of the chips on the steps. The rivets on the door. The window, the mesh. More rubbish. Uh, newspaper. I mean, everything's movable. So, you can make it look less busy if you want. Look at the, uh, the surface of the, the concrete. Or It's all wet looking. It's been raining in Gotham. Got a little wood pallet there. You can just uh, accessorize and the the box for uh, certain characters will be able to sit on that or put their foot up on it and just optional, you know. Maybe Catwoman can sit on there because she's got the, the fire sin body. So you can get her in good sitting positions, but look at that. Absolutely badass. No parking sign. It's official. Look at how some of the bricks are, uh, you know, indenting into the wall there and all the cracks and it's just amazing, man. Absolutely awesome. Big too. It's pretty big. I'm looking forward to getting some photography sessions happening now and some pose sessions. Some showcase videos like old school, but now with a real background instead of a TV or poster or whatever the hell you end up using, you can use this. It'd be sweet. Well, just testing it out. We have the armored Batman here from Dawn of Justice. And as you can see, that looks pretty sweet. So, that's a little taste of what's to come. Yes, plenty, plenty more to come. Yeah, every Batman figure, every Joker figure, every Harley, every Wonder Woman, Catwoman, Freddy, Jason Myers, Predators, Terminators, Judge Dredd. Uh, you know, Robocop. They're all they're all gonna have their time in the alley. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks freaking sweet. So, you know, you go ahead and get in touch with Glenn Page. You want something like this, he'll do it. And do it fast and do it good value, nice price. He'll treat you right. Look at that. That's ridiculous. It's friggin' ridiculously cool. My goodness. Panning all around him. Nothing but pure background action. Oh my goodness. This side as well, window action. 
No, oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at the ground. Look at that. The surface. It's all real. Trash bags. Oh, man, that is gritty as fuck. That is nice. All right. It's just a little taste. More goodies coming soon. Thank you, Glenn Page. Cult Creations, you absolute beast.